All right, welcome back. Now on to our next section, um, where we're still, I guess, technically playing in the same consequences with Lorenz factors and how length contracts and time dilates. Our next question is, a sailboat is manufactured so that the mast leans at an angle of theta bar with respect to the deck. An observer standing on the dock sees the boat go by at speed V, figure 12.14. What angle does this observer say that the mast makes? What we need to know, of course, is the Lorenz contraction and the Lorenz factor. L is equal to L bar divided by gamma, and gamma is equal to 1 over square root of 1 minus v squared divided by c squared. Okay, again, here the L bar is for the thing that's moving, and so now we'll see how this applies. Let's note that here is our observer on the dock. The sailboat is traveling to the right at speed v. Meanwhile, the mast is creating a angle of theta with the deck of the boat. Deck belongs to the boat, dock belongs to the human. And let's see how we can um, solve this question. The thing to note here is that um, once we define everything, the rest length of the mast is L bar, okay? So to an observer on the boat, the height of the mast is just use your trig. Since it creates an angle theta with the deck of the boat, the height is just L sine theta because it's the opposite length. And the horizontal projection is L bar cosine theta bar. Again, we're using the bar notation here for theta, L, theta, and L because those are on the thing that is moving, okay? Some books call it proper. It's the same thing. But to the observer on the dock, the former is unaffected, but the latter is Lorenz contracted to L equal L bar cosine theta bar over gamma. Remember that the um, contraction length can only happen in the direction of motion. So since the uh, speed of the, of the vessel is going to the right, it's only the horizontal component that gets Lorenz contracted not the vertical component. Um, so therefore, what we say is that, well, we know that tangent of theta is equal to height over the horizontal, i.e. opposite over adjacent, but the adjacent now gets Lorentz contracted, and hence we see that we end up with a sine over cosine again. Um, the thing that's beautiful here is that the L bars cancel, as we kind of expect with trig, and we're left with a sine bar over cosine bar. Again, this gamma here, since it's in the denominator of a denominator, it gets multiplied due to the reciprocal rule. And we're left with tangent theta bar. All right, so with this, what we can say is that tangent is equal to tangent theta bar with the Lorentz factor. Or if we solve this for theta, it's the arc tangent of this thing. Um, pretty cool. Pretty easy in my opinion. The best thing that we have here is the fact that we need to take and use components once again. So that's how we know we're in physics land.